Hi and welcome back to Career Aspects TV. In this video I'd like to talk about your CV, your personal statement and the various interviews you will encounter when applying for a university in the UK. So let's get through the intro and we'll get into the details. So why are your CV, your personal statement and the interviews you are going to do, which is your credibility interview, your pre-CAS interview and um, your application interview if you're considering going to Oxbridge universities. Um, what these documents all have in common is you. They're all personal to you. Now, what I would like you to do is consider a situation where there is only one place available at a university and there are two candidates, yourself and uh, him over there, that chap over there. Okay, And you've both put in your qualifications for the course. And in this case, you both have the same qualifications. So who gets the place comes down to the sort of person you are. And this is where the university is going to start to look at your CV and your personal statement. I'm going to start with your CV because that's probably the easier document to compile and it also in a way it acts like a list of contents because it's quite compact and very easy to read. Now I'm not going to go into the details of how to construct your CV. We have a lot of information on that on our website and we have some excellent help tools on our website to help you create a CV. And you can submit that to us and we will look through your CV for you. But the point of your CV is that it gives a brief overview all about you. And as well as listing your qualifications, it's your opportunity to do a kind of short version of your personal statement, for a brief version of your personal statement, which is about you. It gives you the opportunities to um, describe what personal skills you have developed through your life. And it gives you the opportunity to discuss what hobbies and things you're interested in. Because university is not just about studying, it's about university life and how you will fit into university life. So that's the importance of that. Your personal statement is your story. It's your life. So you need to really sit and start thinking about this. Um, really from a, a very early age, but definitely you need to start now. Where did your dream originally start? Try to do your personal statement in kind of chronological order. When did it first occur to you that you wanted to follow the path that you're following, to follow the career you're following? What are your goals and your dreams? Um, it's your opportunity to show who you are as a person. Um, so a lot of thought needs to go into that and it is the core really of your application. It explains to in detail why you want to go to the university, why you want to do the sort of things you want to do and why you would be a good person to be at university, what you bring to university life. So very important um, documents, okay, because they, they, they go much deeper than just your qualifications. So there's uh, an old saying, especially in the UK, that 
Well, it looks good on paper, which means when you write the figures down and you write it down on a piece of paper, it looks brilliant. But in reality, it may not necessarily be the case. So this is where the interviews come into play. The interviews is an opportunity for the university or the visa and immigration to look in to your personal statement deeper. It's to ask questions about what's in your personal statement for you, a chance for you to expand on what you have written in your personal statement. So you can see again that your personal statement is really at the, the core of your whole application. It is really what you are about and what you want to achieve in life. So all of these come together on a very personal level. They really are your story, your motivation, your reason, your standards, your values that you carry as a person. And they really are more important, I would say, than your qualifications. Because if your qualifications are a bit weak, you can always do a pathway or you can always do a foundation course to improve those qualifications. But even if you do a foundation or a pathway course, you are still going to need to supply a CV and you're still going to need to supply a personal statement. So those are really important. And I can't stress enough, the sooner you start <coughs> um, doing some deep soul searching, some deep thinking about putting together your personal statement, the better. And the crazy thing is, it's sometimes that when you start sitting down and you start thinking about it and you start writing out your personal statement, you actually start to learn a little more deeper about yourself. Suddenly things come to light that you never really thought about before. You think, I never realised I felt this way or I never realised I was so passionate about doing this. So it's a, it's a real insight. Actually writing your personal statement can be a real insight for you personally. So that's what I wanted to cover really in this video, the importance of those items. Uh, another point I'd just like to bring forwards, of course, is your use of English. Again, you may well indeed put in your English test results and they may look good on paper. But of course, the proof, another, another expression that we use here in the UK, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And what that means is whilst you may have good test scores for your written English, your CV and your personal statement will demonstrate just how well you can put that into practical use. And the same when it comes to your interviews. You may have a good score for spoken English and your listening English, but the interviews will demonstrate whether you can put that into practical use, whether you can actually do the communication. Uh, I kind of consider this a 101 on the application process because it's basically where it all starts, the heart of it. The process is a lot more involved, obviously, um, but this is the core of it. This is you, where it comes down to you personally. Um, if you have any questions that you would like answered, please let us know in the contact box below. Contact us by email. Our, all our uh, contact um, things are below. Or, of course, check out our website. And if you have a particular subject that you would like us to produce a video on, please let us know and we will always do our best to produce that for you. 
I hope this has helped you a little. I hope it has given you an insight into uh, how to look at the application process on a very basic level. And I think the final tip I'm going to give you before I go is it's never too late to start preparing. If you're a parent, the sooner you start preparing your children for university in the UK, the better. If you're a student and you haven't started on the preparation process, start now. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful and interesting, please share. Please subscribe and of course give it a thumbs up so that other people know it's a good video. I'll look forward to seeing you in our next video and hopefully I'll look forward to meeting you one day when you come to study in the UK. Thank you for watching Career Aspects TV and I'll see you soon.